I'm Leti, a cloud engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town. Today, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot slow queries and improve query performance in Amazon Relational Database Service for MySQL. Let's get started. To start troubleshooting slow queries, first check your resource utilization by monitoring Amazon CloudWatch metrics and Amazon RDS performance metrics over time. You can check CloudWatch metrics such as database connections, network throughput, disk throughput, and latency, or storage metrics for signs of increased load. Next, use Amazon RDS Console Events View to check for any events or processes that might affect performance. Use Performance Insights to analyze your current workload and identify queries that contribute to heavy workload. Weight event types are color-coded, and thicker color bands show weight event types that consume more resources. To find slow queries, turn on Slow Query Log in your DB parameter group. You can also set the long query time parameter so that when a query exceeds that value, the event is logged in the slow query log file. By default, this long query time parameter is set to 10 seconds. Turn on Enhance Monitoring for detailed OS and system metrics. Use Show Full Process List along with Enhanced Monitoring Data to inspect currently running operations. Next, use Explain Statement to check whether your queries use indexes efficiently. Look for missing indexes or full table scans that can cause slowness. Also use Information Schema Statistics view to check that your table statistics are up to date. Out-of-date stats can cause the optimizer to make inefficient indexing choices. To validate that your queries use more efficient indexes, use explain regularly. Also run analyze to update stale stats. Note that in MySQL 8, explain analyze provides detailed timing information for each query step. To improve query performance, Use Show Profile to review slow queries to pinpoint bottlenecks. For InnoDB, monitor the history list length. This value tracks undo logs from transactions. Long-running transactions can increase this value, and that increase can cause performance issues. The Show InnoDB status output shows transaction, locking, and wait information that you can use to better tune your operations. Use the data lock weights table in performance schema to identify and stop blocking queries. Publish MySQL logs to CloudWatch for deeper analysis and set alarms on key metrics. And now you know how to troubleshoot slow queries and improve query performance in Amazon RDS for MySQL. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us at AWS.